Hold on him! Well, our work is done, Flummox. Laying a course for HQ. You got it, boss. Another fine harvest, Slog. You want to be congratulated. Fine harvest? Look, they're all skin and bones. I'm barely meeting my protein quota here. <laughs> it's no wonder you're Orion Burger's top protein procurement agent. You're always worrying about your quota. Come. Perhaps this next assignment will be more... Lucrative for years. The planet is called Earth. Preliminary analysis indicates a high likelihood of harvestability. And this will be your test specimen. Look at him. There can't be much of a brain inside that puny skull. Testing this creature for intelligence would clearly be a waste of time. I agree, but some nosy alien rights activists have been poking around and accusing us of harvesting intelligent life forms. Oh, but it's the smart ones that give our burgers their mouth water and flavor. I know, Slug, but as long as they're watching our every move, we simply cannot risk getting caught harvesting intelligent life forms. The Earth specimen must be tested. Very well. But I have a feeling that this human will flunk with flying colors. <laughs> <laughs> a bountiful harvest to you, sloggy boy. <laughs> I like that kid. Only stupid body pooping activists. <laughs> what? Still unloading? <laughs> Lummy! <laughs> Why aren't we unloaded yet? There was a slide delay. A fat one got jammed in the protein transfer tube. Well then, let's get this meat wagon moving. We got another job to do. <laughs> I'll be in my quarters reviewing the reconnaissance data. Don't disturb me until we get to Earth! Flummox! Sorry, boss. The clutch slipped. Charlie, Louie, Winona, come and get it! Delicious, nutritious rodent kibble. Yum, yum! Oh. What the? Greetings from all the nice folks in the Protein Procurement Division at Orion Burger Incorporated. <laughs> Well, it's about time. Ups a daisy. <laughs> Scrawnier than I would have hoped. Getting paid by the Tarakino for these second growth planets is no way to make a living. Well, what are you waiting for, you flying jello mold? Strap them down. I don't have all day. A hundred billion neurocytes. Is that good, boss? It's pitiful. 
I'm amazed that this creature was able to crawl out of the primordial lose with such a sorry excuse for a brain. Okay, boss. Everything's set to go. Are you ready? Um, am I ready for what? Why, neurosynaptic testing, of course. Who are you guys? Oh, how rude of me. I am Flummox, and this is Senior Protein Procurement Agent Slarg. Protein Procurement Agent? That's right. We're purveyors of premium protein for Orion Burger Incorporated, the largest fast food chain in the entire galaxy. Your planet has been identified as a candidate for protein harvesting. So, uh, you guys are going to make hamburgers out of me? That's the general idea, human. Where am I? You're in geosynchronous orbit directly above your Earth settlement. You mean this is a spaceship? Oh, joy, Flummox. We found ourselves a complete idiot. Yeah, imagine being in geosynchronous orbit without a spaceship. <laughs> oh, that's rich. <laughs> Why are you testing me? We're testing you to find out if Earthlings are intelligent or not. You see, intelligent life is an extremely scarce resource in the universe. We wouldn't want to grind it up in our Orion burgers by accident, would we, boss? Oh, of course not. That would be just, uh, terrible. Uh, d -d don't you want me to take you to my leader? No, we don't test leaders anymore. They were failing our intelligence tests so badly that we had to switch to randomly selected test specimens. So, you're our randomly selected Earthling. <laughs> Lucky me. Um, w w what is neuro... whatchamacallit testing? That's neurosynaptic testing, bucko. Quite simply, we're going to apply a simulated nerve impulse to your cerebral cortex and measure how much juice your primitive little noodle can handle. Simulated nerve impulse? Um, will it hurt? Gee, uh, I don't know. Does it hurt, boss? With any luck at all, it'll be excruciating! What are these things on my head? They're electrodes, you ninny! Can't apply simulated nerve impulses without electrodes! <laughs> That's what I was afraid of! What do I have to do to pass this test? Just relax your nerve fibers and conduct as much of the impulse as you possibly can. What happens if I fail the test? Hello? Are you paying any attention at all? If you fail, we harvest your planet! Speaking of harvesting, Flummox, get on with the test! Okay, boss! Be gentle! Can you do that? Send this wretched mess of protoplasm back to his planet. I'll hold him up with the rest of those ignorant earthlings. And then clean up this mess! Aye, aye, boss! Ahem! Come on, you! Uh. Oh. Uh. Excuse me? What do you want? Do you have anything for a headache? Headache? Yeah, sure. I got something for your headache. <laughs> what is this thing that I'm in? It's an abductatron model 2000, I think. I'm gonna use it to send you back to Earth, to the exact time and place that you were abducted from. Phew. I thought I was gonna be burger meat. Don't be silly. You failed the test. Of course you're gonna be burger meat. You and the rest of your sorry planet. So, why are you sending me back to Earth then? Don't you think I have better things to do than lug you all the way back down to the cargo hold? I'm sending you back to Earth so that we can harvest you with the rest of your pathetic species. Uh, couldn't we talk this over? 
What's to talk about? I'm starving! Why is that gun thingy pointing at my head? Oh, that? That's just a neutrino pulse gun. I fire it at your brain, and it erases your short-term memory. Nothing to get worked up about. Why are you erasing my memory? Boy, you're just full of questions, aren't you? Well, for your information, I have to erase your memory. It's standard abduction protocol. You see, we send you back to the exact time and place we snatched you from, with no memory of your abduction. That way, you don't know you were gone, and no one else knows you were gone either. Pretty clever, don't you think? Uh, I suppose so. Of course, none of this matters a whole lot in your case. You know, with your planet about to be harvested and all. I suppose not. All right, we're ready to go. On behalf of all the nice folks in Orion Burger's Protein Procurement Division, I would like to thank you for your cooperation during our testing procedures. Have a super day! <laughs> the Geochrono Sync Unit! Oh dear, this means that the human's memory wasn't erased. Well, I know I sent him back, but, but I can't exactly tell where or when. Could be next week, could be last year, who knows? Oh, the boss isn't gonna like this one bit. I'm deep in gastrointestinal expulsion material. Wait a minute. This isn't where I was abducted from. One o'clock? This isn't when I was abducted from either. It was closer to two. Oh, this is really weird. I wonder if this means that I'm gonna be abducted again. Gross! A scarecrow filled with human hair! I'll have to admit, though, Harry made a pretty decent likeness of himself. What a big dish! I'll bet Aunt Polly could whip up one heck of a stir-fry in that! The stupid birds! Uh-oh. Sounds like I messed up Harry's reception. Oh, that money could have made it bird-proof! I'm too old for this. I should go back to my old rabbit ears. Harry? Anybody home? Hmm. Not back down from the roof yet. Who's out there? I will, but oh, sorry to keep you waiting. Eyes up on the roof. You're just in time to watch the monster truck races. Anything good on the tube? Well, there's always something good on TV. Here, check this out. How many channels do you get now? I don't know. More than I can watch. But that don't stop me from trying. How do you decide which show to watch? I just kind of surf from channel to channel and let it all wash over me. Hey, you know I can get Baywatch in over 80 languages now? How's your new satellite dish working? Oh, it's working just fine. Well, except for those dang pigeons. I'd like a haircut, please. Well, step right up. I was wondering how much longer you was gonna let that mop grow. Now, how's about that piece that keeps falling in your eyes? Want me to snip it? Nope. Just a little off the sides, please. Kids today, with their long hair and love beads. Now, 
How's about some styling wax to keep that awful cowlick down? Don't mind if I do. Alrighty then. All right, Wilbur. That'll be eight buckaroos. But my last haircut was only five bucks. Well, a haircut's still just five bucks. The extra three goes to pay for my new satellite dish. Put it on my tab, Harry. You don't have a tab, Wilbur. All right. Eight bucks it is. Thanks. See you, Harry. It still looks like a sheepdog. Rest peg leg. A leather dog collar. It's a good thing those creepy aliens don't want to be taken to my leader. If Mayor Gus got involved, we'd be burger meat for sure! Home sweet home! Home sweet home! Polly, what are you doing up on the chandelier? I'm just replacing a light bulb, Wilbur. I want to do some needlepoint, but it was too dark in here. Woof! Woof! I wish I could remember where I left that darn ladder. Would have made that so much easier. You shouldn't be climbing a ladder. Priming my bladder? Oh, no, no, Wilbur. My appointment with Doc Hooper isn't until next Tuesday. How are you feeling today, Aunt Polly? Oh, I'm having a good day today. Just some minor arthritic pain, acid indigestion, rheumatism, dizzy spells, and I think I passed something this morning. That's good to hear. I just wish the exterminator would hurry up and get here. Then I'd feel even better. I'll bet my gerbils got out of their cage again. That's all. Hmm. I can't see my gerbils in there. Doesn't look very important. That's of no interest. It's just an old TV. I don't have time to be playing games now. Studley McQuark! My idol! I wonder what he would do in a situation like this. Nothing remarkable about that. It's my limited edition Studley McQuark Puzz Dispenser. Oh, 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> you actually see a rich plumber in my future, Miss Sabrina? Ooh, what? And he's good looking too! <laughs> Wee! No one's looked at my pipes in a long time. <laughs> Whoops! I gotta go, Miss Sabrina. Did you just call that psychic hotline again? Hmm, Wid, yes. You've got to stop calling her. We can't afford it. You, you, you talk as if she's one of them phony baloney psychics. Miss Sabrina is for real, and she's worth every penny. And guess what? She told me a plumber will be paying me a visit. How do you know she's for real? Oh, come on, Wilbur. <laughs> she advertises in the National Tattler and everything. See you later. All right, Wilbur. Vera? Well, look what the cat dragged in. Ha! Ah, your cat couldn't even drag itself out of bed. Oh, you're one to talk, Eugene. What with you getting up at the crack of noon every day? What are you reading? Interior Design Illustrated. Are you planning to do some renovating? Yeah, I want to board up the order window so I don't have to look at the jerk in the kitchen no more. <laughs> I'm a jerk. Who's the one who wants to redo the diner like freaking Bucking Horse Palace? I'm sorry, Wilbur. You'll have to excuse my husband's locker room language. Locker room? Oh, I'd like to lock her in a room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with a boa constrictor. Who am I kidding? I couldn't do that. Not to a snake! How are you planning to redecorate the place? Well, I'm going for a real Art Nouveau motif. Imagine if you will. A chrome Venus de Milo in the corner next to the fake flamingo pond. The seats are covered with a nice leopard skin vinyl. There's bangles and dingle balls around every window. Oh, and there's neon lights everywhere. Nice, Vera. Real nice. I never noticed your fountain before. Is it new? I just got it. I'm trying to lend an air of class to this joint to offset the tackiness of Eugene's moose head. Hey, I put that up there for you, Vera. It looks just like your mother. You leave my mother out of this, you hairy baboon. The fountain sure is, uh, classy. It sure is. Ain't it just an eyeful? Eyeful? Looks more like an eyesore. Oh, what do you know? Your idea of decorating is to hang roadkill on the walls. Why do you need a mousetrap if you have a cat? The only thing that lazy furball knows how to catch is 40 winks. You're skating on thin ice, Eugene. You ought to know, you frigid old bat. Jerk. The truth of the matter, Wilbur, is that Muffin is too precious to be chasing icky old mice. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Kind of quiet in here today, isn't it? Oh, yeah, but you should have seen us a few hours ago. You know those hungry construction workers from the new bridge? They all come over here for lunch now. Look, Wilbur, are you going to order something to eat or not? No way! I want to stay healthy! Hey! My meals include items from all of the four major food groups! 
Only if you consider the four major food groups to be sugar, grease, caffeine, and saturated fat. Last time I ate here, there was a dead fly in my soup. Yeah, it's the heat that kills them. There was also a twig in my sandwich. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Call the branch manager? <laughs> oh! I just remembered. I gotta go now. Well, don't let me keep you. Ah. Wilbur, why don't you just sit down and order from the menu like a normal person? It's a little spring from a mouse trap. Little tyke. Hi, Odie. How are they biting today? They're not. You fish here every day? Yep. Best fishing spot in the whole of Boonesville. What's so special about this spot? Harry says this is the exact spot where he caught that big fish on the wall in his barber shop. Shouldn't you be in school? It's summer, Wilbur. Oh, yeah, but I've seen you here in the spring and fall, too. Well, uh, uh, sometimes I just don't feel good enough to go to school. But you feel good enough to fish, huh? Yeah, isn't that funny? You know what? I bet the fresh air does me good. Hey, what's in the box? Fresh bait. What kind of bait do you use? I used to use worms, but I didn't like them. Ugh, too slimy. So, now I use grasshoppers. Well, they sure are lively little suckers. Yep, the trout get one look at them, and they just start to slobbering. Any bites yet? No, not yet. But last week, I caught an old rubber boot. A rubber boot? Do you mean you haven't caught any fish here all summer? Don't worry. One way or another, that trout will be mine. I remember when you were knee-high to one. Yeah, whatever. Can I buy some from you? Forget it. But I do know where you can get some. Hey, where can I get some grasshoppers? It'll cost you a buck to find out. Well... Well, Odie, you drive a hard bargain, but... There you go. Now, where can I get some grasshoppers? Oh, at the pet store, where you work. But we don't sell grasshoppers. Oh, that's too bad. You really should, you know. Check it out, Odie. A Studley McCork Puzz Dispenser. No way! Way? It's an official limited edition collector's item. Wow! I've never seen one like this before. It looks just like Studley. Only smaller! Well, give me some grasshoppers, and it's yours! Okay, Wilbur, it's a trade. They're in the icebox outside Vera's. Go help yourself. Why are they in an icebox? Duh! To keep them frozen! Can't I just take some from your bait box? I can't give you these grasshoppers. I'm using them! I thought you said your bait was fresh. They are fresh, Wilbur. They'll start hopping around like crazy once you thaw them out. Well, how do you thaw them out? Well, I use my mom's microwave. Well, when she's not looking. Well, why do you keep them frozen? Grasshoppers are hard to come by most of the year. 
Except every spring there's tons of them down at the marsh. I catch a year's supply in the spring and keep them on ice so I have fresh bait all year round. Why do you keep them at Vera's? Cause my mom says I can't keep them in her freezer. Thanks, kid. Hey, no prob. And if you ever need any frisky termites, I can make you a heck of a deal. blocks of ice. It's full of blocks of ice. malfunction in the system. The results are accurate, boss. He passed fair and square. Fair and square? Fair and square? Don't ever use those words around me again. Now throw them in the break while I prepare the next test. Fair and square. Ah, I'll be back for you in a few minutes, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> Down. I'm on your side. Uh, exactly what side would that be? The side that's trying to prevent creatures like you from being ground up into burger meat. Oh, well, that definitely sounds like the side that I'm on. Who are you? My name is Astral. I'm a member of the Planet Huggers. What are Planet Huggers? It's an organization dedicated to the preservation of intelligent life throughout the galaxy. We oppose Orion Burger's barbaric process of planetary destruction. But we meet on the first Thursday of every month. What do you mean exactly by planetary destruction? I mean total bio-extermination. Well, if you feel one of their intelligence tests, you'll see for yourself how awful it is. I'm sorry to say that I've seen the protein harvesters perform their ghastly work. A Ryanberger wiped out my home planet several years ago, and as far as I know, I'm the only survivor. That's terrible! And now they're planning to do the same thing to my planet. Just when I thought my life couldn't get any worse, now I'm not even at the top of the food chain anymore. What are you doing in the ventilation duct? Well, aside from getting my jumpsuit completely filthy, I'm spying on Zlark. I'm trying to collect evidence that intelligent life forms are being illegally harvested. So you're sneaking around through this ship, and those green guys don't even know that you're in here? You got that right. I'm a stowaway. Oh, if Zlark found out I was here, I'd be history. 
Whatever you do, don't let him know that I'm here. Why the IQ tests? Why don't they just eat me? They have to test you because they aren't supposed to harvest intelligent life forms. Intelligent life is a very scarce resource in the universe. Yeah, I've noticed. What are my chances for passing these tests? Mm, I wouldn't count on it. You don't look all that bright to me. Hey, I'll have you know that if they can stand the screaming, I can stand the pain. The tests aren't supposed to hurt. Those bozos were just zapping my head with electricity. It didn't exactly tickle. What was that thing you were waving in my face? I was just scanning your DNA for our records. I didn't mean for you to catch me. You weren't moving, so I figured that you had passed out or that you were dead. Dead? Come on, look around out there. Not many survived their neuroanalysis test. Hmm, I see what you mean. Uh-oh, I think I hear someone coming. Quickly, get away from the vent. And remember, you never saw me. <sighs> the nerve of that Earthling passing one of my tests! Well, he won't feel like such a big man after he steps under my shrink <laughs> You're a lot heavier than you look, human. <laughs> Easy, you idiot. We might be eating them later. Uh, sorry, boss. Uh, didn't mean to bruise our dinner. All right, human. You squeaked by the first test, but that was the easy part. Now we start testing your higher mental functions, beginning with your survival instincts. Um, what's my gerbil cage doing here? You're about to find out. Flemix, activate the shrink -ta. I scare you? Yes! Good! Now listen up. Intelligence is defined as the capacity to adapt, survive, and flourish. This is where we test the survive part of that definition. To pass, all you have to do is find your way out of the cage. Got that? Well, sounds easy enough. You <laughs> will see about that. Flummox, issue him a weapon. Weapon? Uh, uh, wait, wait a minute. What do I need a weapon for? So many questions for such a little man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting out of here will be a piece of cake. There's a door on the bottom level. Whoa! Aha! Uh -huh. There's the door! <laughs> I'll be out of here in no time! <laughs> but Well, maybe I'm not so smart after all. Hmm. I never noticed a magnet up there before. And it seems to be connected to that generator thingy. All right, the door's opening, <laughs> and those space creeps thought I wouldn't get out of here. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> uh. Hmm, I guess this is going to be tougher than I thought. There's got to be a way to keep that door open. Wow, look at him go!
Charlie, Louie, Winona, wake up, it's me, Wilbur. You're not my gerbils. You're not gerbils at all. Well, at least I won't starve in here. I mean, just one of these peanuts could last me a month. Not a pretty sight. Well, so much for those nasty robo rodents. <laughs> no, wait. This one's still kicking. Oh, no. Spoke too soon. Yeah, it's worth a try, I suppose. Ouch! Hot, hot, hot! That ought to cool off that motor. Whoa! Eh, it's worth a try, I suppose. It worked! <laughs> Whew, I can hardly even budget. I gotta start doing some weight training. I hope this works. The smell in here is killing me. Yes! I'm sorry it had to come to this, guys, but I do have a planet to save. I bore some red. I bore some blue. No matter what color, they're delicious to choke. <coughs> what is it? You know I hate being disturbed during brunch. Uh, sorry, boss. It, it's just that the, the human specimen passed. Away? Uh, no, no. He, uh, he didn't pass away. He passed the survival test. He did what? That's impossible. That pathetic human doesn't have the brains to pass. Well, he seems to be a rather bright one. Nonsense! Throw him back in a brick! Yes, boss! I'll see to it that the next test is his last. <laughs> Ow! Wow! Watch it, you bubble-blowing buffoon! Oh, I wish those aliens would treat their guests with a little more courtesy. I wouldn't expect a lot of courtesy from them, especially not from Zlark. Every time you pass one of his tests, you're delaying his harvest. Ha! Huh. I'll bet that you're really starting to try what little patience he has. Poor guy. Uh, by the way, what does he do while I'm working on one of his tests? He eats. He eats all the time. It's no wonder those gluttons need such a huge supply of protein for their restaurants. Well, glutton or not, He's not getting his tentacles on any of my protein. That's the spirit. Uh, I hear someone coming. I'll talk to you later. Ow! Take it easy, will ya? Get in there, you! Specimen prepared for sensory perception testing, boss! Huh? Oh, yeah, well, very good, yeah. Keep an eye on him whilst I finish up over here. Whoa! What's going on? Nothing to worry your pea brain little head about. I'm just getting your next test ready. Oh, I'm afraid to ask what I have to do this time. Well, I'll tell you then. All you have to do is find a hidden object using whatever feeble senses you may happen to have. Call it a treasure hunt, if you will. Okay. 
So, uh, what's the treasure? What's the treasure? Oh, why, it's something stupendous, something magnificent, something, something indescribable. <laughs> Psst, Flummox, what is the treasure? The, the treasure? I, I, I thought you were getting the treasure. You moron! How can we have a treasure hunt without a treasure? Go, let me think. Treasure, treasure, what can I use for a treasure? Nope. <laughs> Don't just float there, you moron. Get me something else to eat. Yeah. Yuck. What? Oh, here. Have a bite. Uh, oh, golly, no thanks. See, I'm really not very hungry. Good, isn't it? Why, I scour the farthest reaches of the galaxy in search of this delectable treasure. And, uh, treasure? Oh, oh, well, of course. What could be more appropriate? The treasure will be an Orion Burger. you read the sign? It says, no trespassing! Say your prayers, hippie boy! You'd think that you humans could cooperate to pass a measly test! You're pathetic! Shoot! Just when I thought I was on a winning streak! I'd better go get the stuff I used to pass the first two tests so that I can focus on the third! Ready or not, the new bridge is open for business. The town's clerk works in there. Come on. What's all the ruckus? Where's my cam? You don't have to knock the door off his hinges. Ah, a good day to you, man. So what's he going to be? Parking tickets, taxes, property sales, marriage licenses, tourist information, zoning ordinances, survey records, a bagpipe repair. I'd like to buy some property, please. Magic! You've come to the right place, man. So, how much do you have to spend? A hundred? Hundred and fifty thousand? What do you have in the twelve dollar range? Twelve dollars? Hardly a king's ransom. Uh, what do you expect for that amount? Hmm. 
Well, if you don't have anything... Whoa, they're slow down there. I didn't see that. Let me go and see what I have. Hmm. No, no. <laughs> Too much. Ha! <laughs> don't think so. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this one's lovely. Oh, but it's a million five. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, wait, here we are. <laughs> Ooh, it's a little dusty. Ooh. Okay, Sonny Jim, I have a small island here. It's not much of a looker, but it only costs, uh, uh, including uh, closing fees and tax, exactly twelve dollars. Why is this island so cheap? Oh, because it's very small. It's just a wee thing. Truth be told, it's more of a, a, a rock than an island, but uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's ideal for a young, single lad like yourself just starting out. Where is this island exactly? According to this old deed, it's the first island to the south of the northernmost island in Loch Boonsville. Where do I sign? Right at the X, sir. Congratulations! You now own a piece of Boonsville, <laughs> albeit a, a small one. Thanks for all of your... Is that your truck out there? <laughs> that was my truck. <laughs> I was just cruising down the highway doing an easy tiny mouse an hour. <laughs> Minding my own business when all of a sudden from out of nowhere there's this stupid detour sign and I I figured they finished the new bridge, so I took the detour! But the next thing I know, Gloria and me are uh, floating with the fishes. Are you hurt? No, but poor Gloria! Just look at it there. Uh, I promised to give her a bath, but I didn't mean like this. You must have been scared. <laughs> He is scared. I was terrified. I peed my dang pants. Not that that's so unusual. What are you gonna do now? I, I guess I'll have to tell my wife I went off the deep end with Gloria. And my, my truck, not my sister-in-law. I'm sure a good mechanic could fix her up. Well, she won't be the same. She'll be damaged goods. This wouldn't have happened if you didn't drive so fast. That... Oh, sure. Rub it in while I'm worrying how I'm going to explain this to the boss. I'm sure your company has insurance. Uh, not that boss, uh, my wife. She's always hopping on me that I drive like a crazy person. I gotta go now. <laughs> Good. I, I really need to be alone right now. Uh. Any closer, boy. 
This here island is private property. Yeah, yeah, I know it's private property, because I just bought it. You been chewing loco wheat, boy? I own the northernmost island, and you can't buy it, because I ain't selling it. Northernmost island? Now why would I want that wee bitty thing over there? Huh? Well, I'll be hogtied. Oh, uh, no offense intended, Truffles. But that's nothing but a pile of rock. Yeah, but it's the northernmost pile of rock, which means you own it. You're standing on the first island to the south of the northernmost island, and I have a deed right here that says I own it. Eh, uh, you better read it to me. I left my reading glasses at the library. It says that you're on my island, so kindly remove yourself from it. Well, we'll just see about that. Truffle, get over here. Keep an eye on this young hippie boy. If he tries to come ashore, you sick him. Now, I'm gonna pay me a little visit to the town hall and get this all straightened out. We got some mail. Not another ginormous phone bill. And a dog whistle? Oh, I wonder how much she paid for it. Aunt Polly's gonna have some explaining to do. What are you doing up on the chandelier? I'm just replacing a light bulb, Wilbur. I want to do some needlepoint, but it was too dark in here. Woof! Woof! I wish I could remember where I left that darn ladder. Would have made that so much easier. Did you buy something from the home shopping show again? Well, why in tarnation would I call a bone chopping show? <laughs> I'm not a butcher. I said the home shopping show. Oh, that. Well, I suppose I might have bought a few personal items I couldn't do without. Um, did my ultrasonic dog whistle arrive yet? See you later. All right, Wilbur. Why didn't you say you were hungry, Wilbur? Oh, my goodness. Let me fix you a little something to nibble on. Oh, let's see. I could whip you up a peanut butter and cabbage sandwich. Or maybe you'd like some prune fried turnips on toast. <laughs> I'm really not very hungry, Aunt Polly. Oh, so you're after something to drink then? Well, I have just the thing for you. A health shake! La la la, la la la, la la la, la la la. Can I have some carrot juice? La. You know, I got to save this juice for myself. Why, if I don't have my six quarts every morning, I can't see a thing. It simply works wonders on my eyesight. Why, I'm up to 90 vision now. La, 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 we have to la, talk la, about the phone la, bill. La, la, la. Bone pill? Oh, for land's sake, I forgot to take them again. Thanks for reminding me, Wilbur. The fridge is just packed with food. But nothing I want to eat.
I can't take that. The Juice Master 2000. You don't want to be using that bad boy without the proper eye protection. Whoa! Looks like it's time for Aunt Polly to do some laundry. That burger is treasure to those aliens. I'd hate to see what they're... Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Come and get it. Have a yummy Orion burger. Whoa. Look at her wolf it down. She must not have any taste buds. That's it. Go find the rest of that burger. Work that sniffer, girl! Whoa! And Aunt Polly thinks that my room's a pigsty. Moonshine? No wonder Perkins didn't want me poking around in his island. Hmm. I'll have to light that little sucker first. I'll have to light that little sucker first. There. Got the gas flowing. Distilled carrot juice. <laughs> Yum. Use a whistle on that? <laughs> right, right. Use a whistle on that? Truffles must be too far away to hear the whistle.
Here goes nothing. Now where did that little Sputnik go with the burger? That's not gonna work. Truffles must be too far away. It's way too dark back there. There's splitters all over the handle. I'm gonna find the burger in there now. <laughs> wow! Oh, this stuff is potent. My eyes are all tingly. All right, burger. Here I come. Truffles, Truffles. where are Where's you? Room? Wow! Great acoustics. She sounds really far away. Sounds like I'm getting further away from truffles. Sounds like I'm about to... Man. <laughs> Sounds like I'm getting closer to truffles. Sounds like I'm getting further away from truffles. Man, all this trouble for something that tastes worse than Aunt Polly's turnip casserole. Sounds like I'm about the same distance from her as last time. Sounds like I'm getting closer to truffles. Sounds like I'm getting further away from truffles. Truffles! Come out! Sounds like I'm getting closer to tr <laughs> Sounds like I'm getting further away from tr Sounds like I'm getting closer to truffles. <laughs> Sounds like I'm getting further away from truffles. Hello! <laughs> Sounds like a Oh, 
All right! I finally hit the mother load! Give me that burger! Get in there, you stupid creature! Hey, who are you calling stupid? I just passed three of your intelligence tests. Oh, well guess what? So did your soulmates. But as you can see, the next test was just a little more than they could handle. <laughs> so don't you get cocky with me, human. Gee, <laughs> what a nice guy. You passed another test. Yeah, well you don't have to act so surprised about it. Sorry. Hey, who knows? Maybe there's hope for you Earthlings this time after all. This time? What do you mean, this time? Well, according to our records, Orion Burger harvested your planet once before, some 50 million years ago. 50 million years ago? Oh, man. You mean to say that the dinosaurs disappeared because they were made into Orion Burgers? The protein harvesters must have accidentally left behind enough genetic material to allow life to re-establish itself. So that's what Zlarg meant when he said that the Earth was a second-growth planet. Beautiful! <sighs> I think I need to lie down for a minute. Ah, just in time. Let the language test begin. <laughs> Look familiar, human? Uh, it's the door to my aunt's house, I think. Not sure? Well, I guess we'd better see who's home then. On. Who's there? Exterminator! Exterminator? Oh, thank goodness you're here. I swear the mice are getting bigger by the minute. Aunt Polly, go back inside. He's really not a... Wilbur, stop being silly and get down from there before you hurt yourself. Wait out here, madame, whilst I tend to your pests. Oh my, this yard is a shambles. I'll have to have the gardener over tomorrow. Why, these are not mice. This house is overrun with borks, stubborn little pests. Ah, good eating too. Give him the extermination instructions. Here, this little baby tells you everything you need to know about exterminating borks. Exterminate the borks. Okay, so what's the catch? Do you speak Borkese? Uh, no. Well, there's your catch. Now don't come out until you've exterminated them all. What a mess! Oh well, Aunt Polly always wanted a rec room. <coughs> What a weird looking gizmo. Looks like some whacked out TV remote. Sniffed it. Snowed. Boondalo. This pink button is the same color as the bork that swallowed Aunt Polly's telephone. I should hang on to this gizmo. It's supposed to tell me how to get rid of these borks. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'd better get rid of all the borks first. Yikes! 
It'll take Aunt Polly weeks to clean this place up after I save the Earth. Uh, I don't hey. think so. That bork ate all my dirty clothes! Snug! The railing's not very slippery, but the bork doesn't seem to mind. Aunt Polly's always wanted a skylight. Rub a dub dub, there's a bark in my tub. Hello. No better than to pester a hungry pork. Three tests down, and who knows how many more to go. Well, I'll go get the stuff that I know I'll need so that I can concentrate on figuring out what else I'll need. Aunt Polly, what are you doing up on the chandelier? I'm just replacing a light bulb, Wilbur. I want to do some needlepoint, but it was too dark in here. Oof. Oof. I wish I could remember where I left that darn ladder. Would have made that so much easier. See you later. All right, Wilbur. No harm in taking those. Aunt Polly won't need them with that new diet of hers. Oh, you kidding me? <laughs> you actually see a rich plumber in my future, Miss Sabrina? Ooh, what? And he's good looking too! <laughs> Wee! No one's looked at my pipes in a long time. <laughs> Whoops! I gotta go, Miss Sabrina. See you later. All right, Wilbur.
There's nothing parked back there. I'm back. Hmm. Whoopee. Kind of stressed out, Mister. Uh, oh uh, yeah. You see, uh, the thing is, we're uh, sort of late for a gig. Yeah. We had plenty of time to get there before you took the wheel. I can't even catch a few Z's without you getting us into some kind of trouble. Are you guys lost? Huh, I'll say. I can't even find this dreary little burg on the map. I was only asleep five hours. How could you get us this lost? I'm warning you right now, Bye. I'll be so steamed if we end up missing this gig. Where's your gig? Oh, uh, well, our, our gig is in, uh, uh, this, um, the gig is, uh, where was we going again, love? What? You mean you've been driving for five hours and you don't even know where we're going? Oh, you are just amazing, Vibe. You're a real piece of work. I should've listened to my mother and become a professional tattoo artist. Do any of you know where your gig is? Oh, for Pete's sake, it's in Toledo! Oh yeah, Toledo. Oh, now I remember. But, your pants must be too tight, cause it's obvious you are not getting enough blood flow to your brain. I'm sorry to tell you, but you're nowhere near Toledo. Oh, sure we are. We have to be. I ought to know. I live here. Look, there's no way he could have taken us that far off course. Now get lost. I gotta figure out how to get us into Toledo by seven. What kind of music do you guys play? Why, heavy metal, of course. We're the metal minstrels. Haven't you heard of it? Nope. Well, uh, perhaps you've uh, heard of our songs then. You know, Love Me Like a Reptile, Lobotomy Lady, Give Anarchy a Chance, uh, uh, How About Tattoo Biker Chick, I Think I Love You. Remember that? Uh, they don't ring a bell either. Where are all your roadies? Well, we don't have any roadies. But Roxy and I, we split up the driving and hey, drums, he takes care of the equipment before and after each show. I think that you and Drums should trade jobs. He can do the driving and you can take care of the gear. Who knows? Maybe then we'd get to where we're supposed to be once in a while. Hmm. Your drummer sure isn't a talkative sort, is he? Well, it's because uh, Drums can't talk. He, uh, he doesn't got a tongue anymore, you see. How did your drummer lose his tongue? It was a, a party a few years ago. You're yeah, quite tragic, really. Mr. Showoff was trying to impress some birds by uh, biting the head off a bat. Unfortunately, in the uh, process, he also uh, bit off most of his tongue. He bit off his own tongue? Ouch! Yeah, you uh, you might say he uh, 
bit off a little more than he could chew, eh? <laughs> a bat? That's cruel! Not to mention disgusting! Well, it, uh, it wasn't a real bat, you know, it was made out of chocolate. Although I uh, have to admit, when the blood started gushing out of his mouth, the whole thing started to look awfully authentic. Why a chocolate bat? Well, uh, Drums has a terrible sweet tooth, you know, especially when it comes to chocolate. <laughs> He's a certified chocoholic. Could I interest you in some chocolate? Oh, silly me. That wasn't chocolate. Oh, man. Uh. That can't be right. Batter up! Whoa! He blowed up real good! I better not feed him this smelly old sock. I might need it later. I better not feed him this smelly old sock. This is no time to be washing socks. I better not feed him this smelly old sock. I might need it later. I better not feed him this smelly old sock. I better not feed him this smelly old sock. This is no time to be washing socks. Now that's got a smart. guy. I hope he's okay. He's looking a little flushed. I can't do that with this big bottle. to do that from downstairs. <laughs> that should make the railing more slippery for him.
Beach my high score. Cool! I'd better get this downstairs before it goes out! A perfect fit! Snowboard! The Surgeon General wasn't kidding! It's a darn good thing I'm wearing these rubber gloves. Sounds like someone's getting a real charge out of this. That wasn't in the spirit of Christmas, but what the heck. Well, that's all of them. Hey, where's my aunt? Is she in there? Where is she? <coughs> oh, you didn't! Easy now. You'll never pass the last test anyway, so what's the difference? Take heart in the fact that this was a much less painful fate than when I harvest the rest of your planet. Oh, you animal! <laughs> there is just no place in this human. What? Eating my ant is supposed to make me happy? To the break with him! If this human thinks he knows how to make people happy, then that'll be his final test! That big green animal just ate my Aunt Polly! Yes, I know. I witnessed the whole thing. It was awful. I'm so sorry. Why did he have to drag my Aunt Polly into this? Come on, Wilbur. You can't afford to get all emotional right now. You have to pull yourself together for the logic test. Oh, Zlark is gonna pay for this. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. 
Yeah? Well then, Zlar's gonna fall awfully hard! What do I do now? These tests are hopeless! You can't give up, Wilbur. Zlarg may have eaten your ant, but you can still stop him from harvesting the rest of your planet. Yeah, you're right. I'll pass these stupid tests. Somehow. That's the spirit. Besides, you're almost there. The logic test is the last one. Hallelujah! What happens if I pass this last test? If you pass, your planet becomes a fully sanctioned intergalactic refuge for developing intelligent life forms. As such, Zlarg would have no choice but to call off the harvest. What? Zlarg call off the harvest? I wouldn't trust that big blowhard any further than I could throw him. True, but he knows that the planet huggers are watching. He won't take that chance. Ha! If he only knew how closely you're watching him. I'll talk to you later. I have to collect my thoughts. Okay, Wilbur! HQ calling Slug. Do you read me? Over. Oh, just what I don't need. Uh, <clears throat> I, I read you loud and clear, boss. What's going on out there, Sluggy? Is there a, uh, <laughs> problem with the harvest? Uh, <laughs> no problem. Uh, the human passed a few tests is all. <laughs> I don't know how exactly, don't but... Don't know, Slug? I see. Well, uh, do you want I should send in a backup already? No! I mean, well, that, that won't be necessary, because uh, I have everything under control now, so... That's good to hear, Slug. Very good. So, uh, what do you have planned for the logic test? Oh, no need to worry about that, boss. Because <laughs> these humans are completely illogical. <laughs> Why, just a few minutes ago, the test specimen actually attacked... Ridiculous! So, you see... The chances of one of these irrational creatures passing my logic test are just about zero! That goes without saying. All right, Slog. It appears that you have the situation well in hand. Carry on. HQ out. Flamek! Yes, yes, boss? Get that human in here! Hurry it up, but I mean PTQ pronto! You got it, boss! Flamek! Yes, yes, boss? Get that human in here! Hurry it up, but I mean PTQ pronto! You got it, boss! <laughs> oh, it's only you, Wibbler! <laughs> oh, looks like you could use a belt! <laughs> Well, don't mind if I do. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, wow! Oh, I, I gotta tell you, I consider myself somewhat of a cunning sewer, but that is, that is, that is primo hooch. <laughs> hey. I'll go grab the stuff I used to get this far.
You guys can have the island. I don't want to deprive you of that raunchy home brew. All right. I'm back in business. Easy, old timer. Just let me handle the negotiations, will you? <laughs> okay, Wibbler. I tell you what. I'll give you a big ball of rubber bands and... My jar of antique toenail clippings. I, I've been collecting them for years. Yeah, they're great. Ugh. I'll just give you the island, no charge. Nice try, Wibbler. Okay, 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 okay. Forget about it. Forget about the other stuff, okay? How's about a big smelly fish? Huh? Huh? The kid who gave it to me said it's hardly been used. Well, how can I turn down an offer like that? You just bought yourself an island, fellas. Sounds like somebody finally locked up Mayor Gus. I've been incarcerated under false pretenses! I can't see him in there, but it's definitely Mayor Gus. Let me out, I say! I can't take that. I can't do that. I was not dressed for captivity! Here goes nothing! Excuse me, your mayorship. Oh, hi, you Wilbur. Uh, thanks for rescuing me. No problem. Of course, you understand I'll have to bill you for all the damage you caused here to the... Oh, would you look at this? What are you going to do to yourself now, you dumb canine? Okay, stop your whimpering. I'll get you out. <laughs> stop it! Stop it! That tickles me! Heel boy! <laughs> Have a breath then! <laughs> The National Tattler, Aunt Polly's favorite tabloid. Why so glum, buddy? Huh? Oh, Roxy's mad at me. Again. Why is Roxy mad at you? Well, on top of getting us lost, causing us to miss our gig, and misplacing some of the band's equipment, it turns out that today is our leather anniversary, which of course I totally forgot. Oh, it's just not my day, I tell you. Just not my day at all. 
leather anniversary? Yeah, that's right. The big one, you know? Oh man, I can't believe I forgot. How did you forget such an important anniversary? Oh, half the time I don't even know what city I'm in, let alone what day it is. You know, life on the road and all. It's a bloody occupational hazard, I tell you. Have you and Roxy been together for a long time? Yeah, yeah, we've been through a lot together. Oh, it seems like only yesterday we was touring with the Yard Turtles. Maybe you should send her some flowers. Nah, it'll take more than a few daisies to patch things over this time, man. Oh, I've never seen her this mad before. I'm afraid this is the end of the road for us, uh, and the group too. How can you smooth things over with her? Oh, I really don't know. But I suppose if I had a proper anniversary gift for her, I wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. Why don't you get her an anniversary gift then? What, you daft? I can't just give her any old thing. You know, it is our leather anniversary after all. Well, it would have to be uh, something, uh, you know, appropriate for the occasion. You know, something that, uh, well, that shows our care. You know, something, uh, I don't know, something, well, you know, uh, something hip. <laughs> what did you get her for your last anniversary? Last year was our tattoo anniversary. That was an easy one, right? Biggest problem I had was finding enough real estate on her for another tattoo. So, get her something hip. Oh, you're a riot, you are. There isn't a hip anniversary gift to be found within miles of this dreary little burg. I'll let you get back to your moping now. Yeah, well, whatever. Do you think this leather choker would be a good anniversary present? Leather choker? Well, it uh, is appropriate for the occasion and, uh, oh, it is rather hip. No, oh, who am I kidding? It's perfect! Oh, she'll love it! How can I ever repay you, man? Can I have your record collection? Hey, why not? I don't have a record player anymore. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Still reading, huh? You're so observant, Wilbur. How am I ever going to make you two happy? Now why would you want to do something like that? I want to be a saint and I need to perform a miracle. If you want to perform a real miracle, try getting Eugene to put the saint down after he does his business in the john. Have you two always been in each other's throats? Listen, Wilbur, just because we fight all the time doesn't mean that we don't love each other. You love me, don't you, sweet cake? Well, I love to torment you. Ah, miss me! Why do you put up with him, Vera? Well, I would have left him years ago if he wasn't such a stud muffin in the sack. So it's a physical thing? No, no! He used to be much more affectionate. Why, back in the days when he was courting me, he used to take me out dancing all night long. <sighs> I miss those days. So you see, Eugene does have a good side. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, watch it, Beanpole! I got a cleaver back here! Kinda quiet in here today, isn't it? No kidding. you think the diner was in outer space or something.
Sarah, let's shake it, baby! Oh, Eugene, you're so romantic! What was that? Uh, Ro Roxy, I've, uh, I've got something for you. <laughs> Don't try to sweet talk me, you little schlep. You did remember our anniversary. Oh, what? It's beautiful. How did you know? I'm so sorry, baby. <laughs> And if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, don't you stop! Oh, huh? And not a moment too soon! Go! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! You passed! You actually passed! I, I, I can't believe it! You'd better believe it, Bubble Butt! It was a piece of cake! I, um, a uh, boss? Uh, uh, what, what do we do now? No one's ever passed all the tests before! I'm aware of that, you flying nightlight! Just send them back. Deploy the beacon and get us out of here. Aye, aye, boss. Oh, uh, did you say you want me to let him go? Uh, what, what about the harvest, boss? You nincompoop. He passed the stupid tests, so there isn't gonna be a harvest. Oh, oh, uh, that, that makes sense, I think. Um, oh, you're the boss after all. All right, smarty pants, let's go. You know the drill. You know, Bubble Butt, I'm really gonna miss our little times together. So will I, Earthling. Uh, but you know, I still can't understand how you passed all those tests. Uh, no offense, but your brain is so puny! Oh, sure, if you had more than one brain, I might understand, but you don't! I checked myself. You should be in the galactic record books for this! More than one brain, eh? Hey, wait a minute. More than one brain? Hey, 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 wait a minute! A Flummox! Flummox! Bring that human back here! On the double! Phew! What's up, boss? Did I forget something? Just shush up for a minute there, would ya? I think I'm on to something here. Computer! How many life forms are aboard the ship? Scanning. There are currently four life forms aboard the ship. Let's see. There's me, and you, and him, and... Uh, and... Hmm. I count only three. I'd better count again. There's me... Oh, you moron, don't you get it? We have a stowaway! Computer, where is this fourth life form? The fourth life form is in the ship's ventilation system. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> Ouch! Gotcha! Well, well, well. A planet hugger. I shoulda known. <sighs> Let me go, you barbaric blob of pus! You're oozing all over my jumpsuit! I'll settle down! Looks like we'll be harvesting your pathetic little planet after all, human! But... you can't! I passed all the tests! That's not fair! Fair? Ha! You should talk! You've obviously been getting help from this stowaway! You're disqualified for cheating! You'll never get away with this, Lurg! We'll see about that! Flummox! Send this scraggly human back to his planet. He can say goodbye to his loved ones before we grind them all up into teensy little bits of burger meat. <laughs> I can almost taste them now. Ugh, you're one sick puppy. Aye, but you're a feisty one. I think I'd better let you cool your jets in my meat locker. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll have you for my post-harvest snack. <laughs> Uh-oh! If Astral's locked up, then this thing is gonna zap me back to Earth for good this time. That means we're all gonna be burger meat. Oh no, I can't let that happen. Come on, Brain, I gotta do something real quick. But what? There, everything's set. I guess there's nothing left to say but... 
Bye bye. <laughs> You're looking pretty out of it, Flummox. Oh, that's funny. I don't feel so great either. I must be coming down with something. Can you stand on one leg and touch your nose? I think so. Um, uh, no, wait. I seem to have misplaced my legs. And my nose. You look lost. Do you know where you are? No. Uh, what happened? I'm not sure. But you sure made a mess of the Abductatron. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll clean it up later, boss. Boss? Do you know who you are? Uh, I'm... Uh, I'm really confused right now. Do you know who I am? Oh, yeah. Uh, you're Slark, my wonderful boss. Where's the human? Y you moron? Human? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I guess he got away from me somehow. I'm hungry. Where is my meat locker? You forgot where the meat locker is? Uh, you must be a little confused, too. Uh, follow me, boss. Oh, which one looks tasty today, boss? Um, how about this one? Uh, the scrawny one? Uh, whatever you say, boss. <laughs> I d d didn't think I'd see you again. How did, did, did you escape? Well, things were a little dicey at first, but then I took a moment to reflect on my situation, and, well, a solution just sort of hit me. Are you okay? I will be, after I thaw out a bit more. Which way did Zlar go? He, he went to the bridge to harvest your planet. Uh, why are we whispering? I don't want Bubble Butt to hear us. He thinks that I'm Zlarg. Y you're kidding! That's amazing! Will you help me stop the harvest? Uh, I wish I could, but I can hardly move right now, except to shiver. You better go on without me. Ugh, what a creepy place this is. Every one of these creatures is from a planet that's already been harvested. And I'll bet that they're all intelligent life forms. Unbelievable! I guess that gluttonous green glob likes to keep a few choice cuts aside for himself. Y yeah, no fooling. And I would have been Zlarg's lunch if you hadn't saved me. Take care, Astral. I'm gonna stop Zlarg now. H how are you gonna stop him? I haven't thought that far ahead, but I'm sure that something will come to me. I... I see. Well, good luck. <clears throat> um, to the bridge, Flummox! Uh, there's a human loose up there! A human? Oh, oh dear. Uh, uh, what does a human look He's like? He's big and fat and green and ugly! Oh, sounds hideous, boss. He is, Flummox. He really is! There he is, Flummox. The human! Ah, oh, you are kidding. He's disgusting. And he's one of the better looking humans. Earth, what a pitiful planet. We'll be putting it out of its misery. Now, you know what to do, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, actually, no. Oh, go and get him and throw him in the brig. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> right away, boss. All right, human. Are you going to come along quietly, or am I going to have to get rough? Human? Stop fooling around, Flummox. Can't you see that I'm busy? I don't have time to play games with you. Mechanized moron. I warned you. Now I'm going to let my diodes do the talking. Woohoo! 
God, have you got insane? What is the matter with you? Boss, is that you? Well, who else would I be, you idiot? It is you. Uh, but, but wait, if you are you, then who's that in the turbo lift? Come on, come on. Oh, no. Not you again. Now, my friend. Can you read what this button says? Actually, I'm a little too close. If you could back me up just a bit, say, a foot or two. The button says auto harvest. One push, and we start harvesting your precious little planet. No, don't. Please! You know, I enjoy pushing this button. But today, since you're my guest, I'll let you do the honors. Let him go, Zlorg. Huh? I said, let him go! Blasted planet huggers! I'm taking you in, Zlorg. We've got you outnumbered. Outnumbered? <laughs> but I'll win it. Never. Put the rubbish to the escape pod! Wow! They're getting away! Ah, uh, don't worry about them. They won't get far in that little runabout. I'm glad he's out of my hair for a little while. Hey, speaking of hair, I think this is yours. Thanks. Um, has anyone ever told you you have really nice hair? Uh, no. At least no one other than my gym teacher. Hey, we just saved the earth, didn't we? We certainly did. Wow! I've never done anything like that before in my whole life. Look at me. Some little guy from some little town. One minute I'm selling flea powder at the pet store, next minute I'm fighting demented aliens in outer space. Yep, you have a great story to tell when you get home. Home? Oh, come on. How can I go back to a normal, boring life after I've tooled around the galaxy in a spaceship? There's nothing for me in Boonesville anymore. Not even Aunt Polly. Here's a thought. I don't know if you'd be interested, but I'm pretty sure I can get you a position in my organization. When I tell my supervisor how you handled Zlark, I just know he'd welcome you as an official planet hugger. Really? You mean I could zoom around outer space like you and fight alien evildoers? Well, you might have to take a desk job at first. I don't care! I'll do it! Wilbur Wafflemeyer, Space Cadet! Uh, do you know how to drive one of these things? Not as such. Well, I guess it's time you learned. First, let me launch the space boot. There. Okay, now push that button over there. This one? No, no, not- Whoa! 